Accessing samples in Cubase and integrating them into your project is super easy. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can quickly bring a sample in and then use a number of different techniques to either time stretch it or have that sample fit automatically into the tempo of your project. I can use the media bay to access Steinberg content packs, but I can also use the file browser in the media bay to access my own collection of loops and samples. And it's really easy to preview them, and you can even preview them in the context of your project if you want. But to start with, let's just drag one of these across over into a blank area on the project window. Cubase has detected that the sample rate's different, so it's given me the option of converting that into the sample rate of my project. Now that I've got this sample in the actual project, I can hear that it's out of time. So it's the wrong tempo. And I can also visually see that the, the main transients or the peaks of my waves aren't lining up with the grid of my project. And that's always a really good sign that it's out of time. The fastest way to time stretch it is to go up to the arrow menu in the toolbox and select sizing applies time stretch. Now if I pick up on the bottom right hand corner and drag it forwards, I'm speeding that loop up. And it's not quite right. Now you really need to figure out just how long your loop is. So this loop or sample is 8 bars long and now that I've stretched it to the correct bar or the end of the correct bar, which is the end of the 8th bar, it's applied the perfect time stretch. Another way to time stretch is go up to the audio menu and go down to advanced and now we've got a sub menu and down towards the bottom of the sub menu, we've got stretch to project tempo. Now Cubase will automatically detect the length of the sample and time stretch it so that it fits in with the tempo of our project. In the pool window, which contains a list of all the samples in our project, we can click on this musical box, which will automatically make this loop or sample follow the tempo of my project. So now it's perfectly in sync with my original tempo and I can enter a new tempo and automatically it's adjusted that sample so that it fits perfectly in with the new tempo and whichever tempo I select from this moment on. A lot of what I've just shown you is kind of an old school way of adjusting the tempo. Now we can use the media bay to preview and import loops. And if these three buttons are checked down here in the bottom right hand corner, then everything we preview in the media bay is going to be perfectly time stretched. And also it will align to our project. So if we hit play in the transport, the media bay is going to play that sample in perfect context with our project. And now when we drag it out, you'll see that the end of this sample is matched perfectly to the end of the eighth bar and it's perfectly in time with the tempo of our project. Once again, we can time stretch it just by grabbing the time stretching tool in the arrow drop down menu. So now I've moved this into half time or double time uh, just by picking up on that handle in the bottom right hand side. Just doing it this way means that we've got this sort of global um, follow tempo vibe going on with the sample. You can also go in and change the algorithm type. So there's different quality algorithms which will take up different CPU usage. So it's always worthwhile going in and having a play around with the different algorithms to see if time stretching it is going to make it sound any different to the original or just to see if you're losing any of the audio quality. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and watch this video. Please give us the thumbs up if you've learned something and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.